Well, I think it's just, it's very rewarding um, to see the reactions of the Marines as you create art right there in real time as they see what you're doing. And, uh, and also the ability through an image to tell the Marine Corps story to the American public is, uh, is very, very rewarding. And, and uh, I just love it. So one of my pieces is titled Friendly Fires, uh, M240 Under Illumination. Uh, it's a, a picture that I created uh, using watercolor and graphite. This is a, a Marine in his post uh, in a bunker on the outskirts of Camp Leatherneck. So the mortars would hurl these illumination rounds into the air to illuminate the area. So I was standing in the bunker, I took a few pictures, and uh, this is the, uh, the image I created based on the experience. I was thrilled to learn that it was accepted by the National Museum of the Marine Corps. And for a period, a little over a year, it, it hung in the gallery alongside just some fantastic, what I would call real artists. So for a, a person like myself who has been largely self-taught, to, to create an image that was found to be worthy of the National Museum was just, was just phenomenal. And before this, I had done a series of smaller cartoons and just kind of gagged things as a young officer for my squadron, you know, a lot of cartoons, a little, maybe one or two for the base newspaper. These are examples, I was a VMI cartoonist, like when I was a cadet. So I've got tons of VMI cartoons and these are the old clippings. So you want to talk about where it really started for me it was right here at VMI.